Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are still in the middle of quarantine lockdown. Um, it's a stressful time for everybody, I know. Uh, we are very thankful that we at least have the ability to film and make content and hopefully provide some sort of entertainment for you guys while you are in solitary confinement. Um, if you're new to the page, I noticed we've grown a lot, especially since people have started being locked in their houses. So welcome thank you so much for joining our family we are very very happy to have you guys um but yeah so today i'm gonna do something i haven't done in a uh, hot minute which is a tutorial and it's not only a tutorial it's also like a first impressions which you guys know i was doing a ton of back when we were filming all the time it's been very sporadic in our filming lately and i apologize for that but today i'm going to do a brand first impression and a product first impression so I'm sure you guys saw, if you've watched any of our videos in the past, you probably have heard me talk about the situation with picking up the Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff over Black Friday. So this is a bundle set that we picked up during their sale on Black Friday. Black Friday was a hot mess. We ordered all their mystery boxes, didn't get a damn one of them. So that was just a lot, but we did get uh, the blood sugar palette and then we got the jawbreaker and the mini jawbreaker, which were on sale and they were bundled together. So today I'm going to do a first impressions of these two palettes. We'll do a blood sugar one later. We've got nothing but time on our hands right now. So we'll be filming as much as we can and giving you guys as much to watch as possible. So for the jawbreaker, personally love the, the aesthetic of it. There's just so many colors and such a variety of colors. You can do, you know, an orange look, a blue look, a, a pink look, a purple look, whatever you really want to with this. And then the mini jawbreaker has some similar shades, um, but it's uh, what I would call a mainly purple palette. And I think today for the aesthetic, we are going to just go with a purple look. I was kind of trying to pick out some colors that I think I wanted to purchase perhaps work with. I was going back and forth between pink and purple and then I was thinking about orange for a minute and then I was like, I don't really wanna look orange right now because my lips are purple. So, or like nude purple, what a pink, purple, whatever you wanna call it, whatever. I went with purple is what I decided I was gonna go with today. So I think mainly I'm going to probably use the uh, mini jawbreaker because we've got some really beautiful purple shades in this. We've got purple punch, foreplay, bite me, which is a dark glitter shade, oral, which is a light glitter shade with kind of like blue iridescence in it. We've also got bubble gum. I really love the aesthetic of pink and purple working together. So I maybe use some pinks as well. And then in the big palette, we have um, gumdrop, which is a nice lavender purple. We've got uh, a bite me again, so we got two bite me's, and then we've got delicious, which is a dark purple, and then we also have some really gorgeous neutral shades and some also like some pink shades that might work well with it. So we've got cotton candy as like a vibrant pink shimmer, snack as like a peachy pink shimmer, and then we've got uh, bubble. Oh nope, I already talked about bubble gum too. So that was my biggest complaint when I bought the bundle set was I wasn't sure if they were all duplicates. Most of them are not duplicates, but there are some. So you do have some duplicate shades in it. So maybe. Personally, if I had realized that some of them were duplicates, I probably would have just opted to get the big palette rather than getting the mini one. The mini one's great if you're traveling and stuff like that, but just to keep in mind. Anyway, tangent. Um, and then we've got Virgin, which is a nice white, and Good Morning, which is like a light pink, which will be really great for like blending shades. I, um, I'm really excited. I know the buying process was very um, annoying and frustrating for this uh, these particular palettes and I still am a little bit miffed and I'm still very hesitant to reorder from Jeffree Star because of what happened during that. That being said, um, I'm very excited to test out the products because I've heard nothing but great stuff about the products and I absolutely love all the colors that are uh, given to us. Yeah. So yeah, before we jump in, if you haven't subscribed yet and you've just stumbled upon our page, welcome. Thank you for, uh, for joining us today. You should consider subscribing cause, uh, we're bored and we're going to film and, uh, we are fun and we do fun things and y yeah. So yeah, that's my plug. All right. So I'm going to start off trying to decide what direction I'm going to take it. I've been thinking about it, but not, not, not enough to like to know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with Purple Punch, which is this kind of medium purple shade right here. And I'm going to do that on my outer corner. And if it's not dark enough, I'm gonna go in with Delicious, which is on the other palette. And that is like the dark, it's almost navy, but it's definitely more purple than navy. So we'll see, we'll see what winds up happening. That's a really pretty purple. I really, really like that. 
I may add a little bit of Delicious just because I want it to be just a touch darker closer to my eye, but it's actually a gorgeous shade and it's packing on really well. I didn't pick up a whole lot of product, but the payoff seems to be really nice and it doesn't seem to be patchy at all, which I'm always very hesitant about new palettes because I'm, I'm worried about patchiness and things like that. And this does not seem to have any of those issues, which I appreciate. I'm gonna take just a touch of the Delicious and just go in there. Oh, that sucker is dark. Wow, I barely touched it at all. So on my eye, it definitely appears more navy. So duly noted, at this point, I've gotta put it on the other eye because I've committed. But it is like, I literally tapped it twice and that payoff was like insane. So that's, that's definitely a, a bonus in my book. I mean, it's not exactly what I was hoping for with the eyeshadow colors, but dang man, that thing is like just, it's there. It's there and it's unapologetic. And I, you know what, respect. I'm gonna go a little bit on my under eye as well, just to get a little bit of the color down there. I like it so far. I'm not gonna lie, I like it a lot. I know I've only done like a hot, a hot little second of it, but I really am, I'm, uh, I'm appreciating this palette so far. So I'm gonna take just like a flat edge brush and I'm actually going to go in, I think I'm gonna go in with Foreplay right now, which is kind of like a pinky purple. Is this one right here. I was debating between that and Gumdrop, which is the lavender that I showed you guys. But I'm gonna go in with Foreplay because I think that one is going to be a little bit darker and a little bit more of the kind of shade that I'm hoping for. Yeah, there's virtually no fallout. There's virtually no gaps in application, if that makes sense. Like what I was talking about basically with there being um, patchy areas where your skin is still showing, that's just really not happening at all. And I have a uh, mad friggin' respect for that. I mean, I did not doubt that the quality was gonna be there if I'm going to be 100% honest. Nobody really has said that Jeffree Star's quality has ever been in question. It makes me sad because I feel like acquiring his palettes were, uh, it was a very stressful process and I hated it, but I mean, I'm enjoying them a lot. I mean, we're only in April, so I've only had them for five months. Yeah, I really like that so far. So now I'm going to take a blending brush, um, just like a nice feathery br blending brush, and I'm going to actually go in with Good Morning, which is that light pink shade that I said would be really nice for blending purposes. I'm gonna see how that one works in terms of just making it all come together. Okay, so I went ahead and did um, the Good Morning blending on the other eye as well. Our camera cut off, so I went ahead and took that time to do that. I am gonna now go in with Bubblegum, which is that really bright pink shade. We have that in both the palettes. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go under my eye just a little bit with that. And I'm actually going to go in with that and I'm gonna do just a little bit to kind of lighten up the purple area as well. All the colors are doing a really nice job of mixing with each other. Um, it does not seem to have a lot of like super harsh lines, which I really appreciate. I'm gonna just use my big feathery blending brush to go a little bit further into that as well. And then I'm going to start looking at our glitter shades. And I think the one that I'm actually going to go with is going to be Cotton Candy, which is the really bright pink glitter shade. I think that's gonna look really cool with everything that we've got going on. We'll see if that's the right choice or not, but that is what I am going with. And uh, Oh, that's so pink. Holy crap, that mother is pigmented, my gosh. Yeah, so that's definitely pink. I don't think anybody's gonna doubt that. It is like super pigmented too, holy crap. Like I'm once again, barely tapping the brush on the, the palette. I'm not like digging in or like producing a whole lot of fallout and it's just like crazy how much color is coming out. So actually because of how pink that was, I'm gonna go in a little bit more with the purple punch I'm gonna darken up the purple, try and make it a little bit more of a purple aesthetic. And then I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. Now we also have this really cool shade Jawbreaker, which is like a white that is a little bit iridescent and I'm gonna go under my brow bone with that. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful highlight shade. I'm gonna do my inner corner of my eye with that too because I think that's kind of the perfect place to put it. Um, I loved it under my brow bone. It is not paying off as well as I was hoping it would in my inner corner. 
So I'm actually gonna go in with Snack, which is the pinker shade, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that over it. And that helped. It honestly mixed with the white. It kind of makes like a champagne color, which I'm appreciating at the moment. I'll blend it out just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna see how the final product looks with mascara because I really cannot tell how much I like it uh, without mascara. I will say that like it's super simple. It took virtually no time at all because the payoff is so incredible with all these colors. And um, I like the aesthetic of it, so yeah. Okay, so this is the final product. Um, it was very quick. It did not take a long time at all considering, but yeah, I'm a big fan of it. It uh, definitely has an incredible amount of payoff. There is not a lot of fallout. Uh, like I said, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So that's the big palette one more time. And that is the Jawbreaker from Jeffree Star. And then we've got the mini Jawbreaker which is mainly what I would call a purple palette because a majority of the shades are purple or pink based. That's what that one looks like. And yeah, so I'm a big fan of it. Um, I definitely understand the hype about his cosmetics. I know it's not like a revolutionary for me to sit here and talk about a, a brand that everybody really knows well and has already uh, established a great amount of, of rapport within the beauty community, but it's still something that I haven't tried before and I wanted to do a first impression of. So I am a big fan of it. So if you would like to see the story behind why I was frustrated with the brine process, then I would recommend looking at like either the post uh, holiday haul with the Jeffree Star products, or um, I don't remember exactly which Christmas special it was when we talked about it, but it was the one where I ranted about all my Black Friday purchases and the whole endeavor with that. So yeah, those will kind of give you the backstory as to why I was so frustrated during the buying process. But overall, it's hard to deny great, great products. And obviously these are great products and there's a reason that people love them so much. Thank you guys for viewing us today. Uh, I know I've said it a couple times, but if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're really fun here and uh, we really like to uh, to make new internet friends. So please be my internet friend because um, I'm quarantined and we don't have any real friends. So yeah. All right. Other than that, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.